Today I'll show you how to join the cuff units to sleeve units, then set in the sleeves so it'll be smooth without gathers or tucks. It's really very simple. I'll start with the sleeve and the cuff unit. Make sure that your cuff is right side out and slip it into the sleeve. So that the right side of the cuff will be on the wrong side of the sleeve. Then if you match the notches, the seam line over here will also match. If it doesn't, you probably have the wrong cuff for the sleeve you're working on. So just change it. Now I have the cuff pinned to the sleeve. Stitch these together right on the seam line. Trim the seam off down to then fourth of an inch of the stitching. And then press that seam up. Here's an additional step, which will help you hold the cuff in place. While still in this position, stitch the seam down to the sleeve. Put the stitch about one eighth of an inch outside the seam. Here's where the stitch comes on the finished sleeve. Now to get the blouse unit ready for the sleeves to be set in, turn it wrong side out. Match the notches at the side seam. And then here on the left side, <clears throat> put one more pin at the top under the arm, but leave the lower part of the uh, side seam open for the placket. Then repeat the same thing on the other side. Match your notches, pin up under the arm, and put one more pin down at the lower seam. Stitch these seams on the seam allowance and then press them open. 
I want to put a sleeve in of contrasting our solid color so that you can uh, watch the sleeve and the blouse as the sleeve goes in and keep them separated. And so I don't have to rip that sleeve out later. I'm going to uh, change this for another blouse. And by this time, I'm sure that you've all noticed that all sleeves have a single notch and a double notch. So lay your sleeves down by the side of the blouse so that if you have a single notch on the top side of your blouse, you will have a single notch on the top side of your sleeve. This is to make sure that you have the right sleeve for the right armhole. Slip your hand inside the blouse and hold on to the single notch in the blouse and the single notch in the sleeve. Turn the blouse wrong side out over the sleeve and pin the two single notches together. Match the mark at the top of the sleeve to the shoulder seam. If your dress has a drop shoulder or yoke, this mark at the top of the sleeve will match a similar mark on your garment. Come on around and match the double notch of the sleeve to the double notch of the blouse and pin it. And then the underarm seam to underarm seam. Now let's review those four points. The single notches, the mark at the top of the sleeve to the shoulder seam, the double notches, and the underarm seams. Now we're ready to pull up the threads from the E-stitches we put in at the very first step of making the sleeves. These E-stitches will help us get the sleeve fit into the armhole smoothly. Here are the two threads from the bobbin. We'll hold on to these threads and ease the fabric over the threads. Starting down here under the arm, and easing them up all the way over this half of the sleeve. Until we get the sleeve fitting into the armhole. And then distribute those gathers are the fullness, so there'll be no tucks or gathers up over the cap of the sleeve. Repeat on the other side, hold on to the two bobbin threads and slip the fabric over them. Don't just pull on the threads. And then distribute the ease. Hold these two edges together accurately as you stitch. Some experienced seamstresses will have enough control over the machine and the fabric that they can stitch this without any further pinning. Others may want to put some pins in. A few more places, placing them, the points into the seam so that they, the uh, pins can be stitched over as the seam is stitched. Still others, they want to pin with the seam line, pointing the pins in such a way that they can easily be removed as you stitch up to the pins. Or you may want a thread base so that you can check and see how smoothly your sleeve fits before you stitch it permanently. Stitch with the sleeve side up so that you can watch and control the ease as you stitch. When you come to a seam, stop and make sure that the seam is flat before stitching over it.
stitch right on the ease line that was put in on the seam line. If you're not completely sure of yourself after stitching around your sleeve once, stitch in the other sleeve, try your blouse on, and check the grain of the sleeves and the smoothness before you stitch around the second time. Experience will give you confidence so that you can go right on and stitch a second row of stitching an eighth of an inch outside the first row. The second row of stitching reinforces the seam, so it'll take more strain without ripping out. This also makes it possible to trim away part of the seam so the sleeve will fit more comfortably. And leave your seams together and press from the sleeve side. Let the tip of the iron extend a little beyond the seam line itself. Then here's how your sleeve will look when finished. Following these suggestions, I'm sure you'll find it easy to set in a smooth sleeve. 